what did Otmar say to you before the Champions League final? Because all, yeah. a lot of people will not know that out of all the top world-class players that are playing in a mm. Champions League final, you win man of the match. Yeah, he, he, um, he, we trained the night before. He showed us UV playing uh, in Dortmund. He showed us things of him. And then um, you don't need to be Einstein to sit and go, well, Zin is the best player in the world. Yeah. And, the, and you look at their team, Vieri, Bosic, Dale Piero, Zidane, Deschamps, yeah. Lukovic, they're all so, there. So this is you telling me there are no duds in their side? Well, <laughs> can you find one? <laughs> so uh, he, he saw this wee bats, and they just smacked Ajax, I think, 4-1, and Ajax, I think. And yeah. Zidane was unbelievable. And um, we'd been to obviously Man United, and uh, Omar, um, we'd, we'd been doing to Munich the uh, day before, and uh, and I'd played there before against Bayern, and it always sticks in my mind, the Olympic Stadium, it was like a carpet. Yes. The field was unbelievable. If, if you miscontrolled that down there, or you had a bad pass. You weren't and, a footballer. Aye, it was your own fault, it wasn't the ball or the grass. So I thought, let's look at this, this is going to be unbelievable. So we done a normal we train before the game, it was always dead light. And he pulled me over. He said, Paul, he said, the only game you won better, better advice, he said, if you get the ball, look for the diagonal. He said, because I don't think Perutz is big at his back post. And he said, Perini is no strong at his back post either, because Perini played. Yeah. So I went, OK, no problem. We go back to the hotel, wake up in the morning, normal stuff, have breakfast and things like that. And then we, uh, I, was, I was no nerves whatsoever, you know, none, none. Time to go on the bus. And Manny, Manny uh, uh, used to do our mail for us and all that and clean the boots and that. Great guy, he used to, he was brilliant. And he lit up his cigarette and he says, how are you feeling, Paul? I said, Manny, I'm ready. I went, how are you? He went, I'm nervous. As soon as he said that, my stomach just went, <laughs> I went, Jesus, man, he's nervous. I go on the bus, the lads are deadly silent. And Stefan, I go, I go sit beside Stefan, I see Stefan's knee kind of doing, going like that, you know. Yeah. I went, are you all right? He went, yeah. So I said, I'm knee. He said, I'm, I'm all right. He said, but look at everybody else. And I went, right. And in my own head, I went, he's won the World Cup. He's won the World Cup. He's won Serie A. He's won Serie A. He's won the Euros. He's won the Euros. He's a... And there wasn't a peep at them, you know. Yeah. They get quiet. I thought, well, they're bang on it. They're bang on it. So... The way the bus went into the Olympic Stadium goes into the corner. So you had to come out the bus and go on the track, the running track, and then into the, the tunnel dressing rooms. And I swear to God, we went there, and it was half yellow black, full, the stadium was full, bear in mind this would be an hour and a half before the game, Yep. and all black and white. The stadium was full. And then and the, the, the orchestra is the Hearson anthem. Yep. The Champions League anthem and the, the, and the yellow and black flags are going there and the black and white are going there and it, it was jumping, absolutely. And I went, wow, this is proper. Went in the dressing room and Otmar had done his normal stuff and then the two teams come and then we take the mascot. And at that point, De Livio, uh, I never really looked at anybody who I played against. I knew it was, I was going to come up against Zidane. I knew, the thing that struck me with, with Zidane was how big he was. Yeah. And I knew... He could glide, he that glide. That Great skill either foot, didn't he? Aye, he did a brilliant glide. And, um, but De Levo had a big ink thing on his hand, you know? And I thought, what? what's he got on his hand? And he's turned his, his hand around it and it said 3-1. In, in numbers, you know? Yeah. So I said to, said to Powell, I said, what's he got on his hand? He went, he does sometimes like predict, try to predict scores for big games. Wow. And he had 3 1. He was right with 3 1 because it, well, it was 3 1 for us <laughs> at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly trying to wash the ink off. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we took the mask off and we went to it and it was just, the noise was just deafening. I thought, because you walk by the trophy, don't you? You walk by yeah. it. And I thought, please, if there's, if there's one game you need to perform, you have to perform here. Yeah. And, but I knew my role and I met you, Dan. A few years after, and uh, had a laugh, kind of laugh and a joke about this whole thing, because that I think that killed Juventus at that time. That yes, because I think they were they were so good at that point. They were they were a brilliant side and brilliant players, but 
that game I thought they deserved to win because of what we had.